Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have a second part of the Color Doppler Hands-On Experience. If you haven't checked the first part, go to the Hands-On Experience number 7 uh, and uh, check it out and then come this one. Here we have a, a case, uh, which view is this one? First of all, second, we do Doppler on that uh, view that you have to know that. And we get this, this Doppler. For measuring peak pressure gradient on this one, uh, which one we used? This one, this one, or this one, or all of them, and we calculate uh, average. For any your uh, option and choice, you have to explain why. Why you choose each of them or all of them, and what one is better uh, and correct way based on the, this color Doppler, EKG, and of all finding that we have here. Here we have another case. On the right side, you see a color Doppler. What type of abnormal color Doppler you see? Uh, name all of them and uh, belong to what? Uh, second, this uh, this one. At what level has been taken? What we use that and what level? And uh, what is the most uh, important abnormal finding? You can see here. And what is the most probably diagnosis on this patient? Both of them belong to the same patient. This one case we have, as you can see, four chamber off axis medial. Uh, what type of the color Doppler, abnormal color Doppler you can see? Is that one or two? And what those are? Second, uh, we do a continuous Doppler on this line. You can see here. This and we get it this Doppler, continuous Doppler. This Doppler belongs to which of those uh, abnormal color Doppler? And the last one. F uh, what is the best uh, view for evaluating the second abnormal jet? What should you do? And on that view, what should you do? Here we have another case. As you can see, uh, different level, we have the color Doppler and we have continuous Doppler at this level. What is the most probably diagnosis? Is, is that MTR or something else? Besides of the color Doppler abnormal finding that you have, you can name it, do you see any other abnormal finding in this case or not? Here we have another case. Uh, as based on the color Doppler and 2D, uh, what uh, Doppler, abnormal Doppler you can see, what do you call it, what do you name it, or one or two is up to you, and what is the most probably diagnosis? And beside of that, do you see any another abnormal finding or not on 2D? Here we have a two view, what those are, uh, name it, and do you see any abnormal uh, color Doppler? If yes, what is the most probably diagnosis? Here we, we have a color Doppler on the apical five chamber. Do you see any abnormal uh, color Doppler or not? We do a, a continuous Doppler on the aorta, as you can see, because they pass through this area, and we get it this Doppler. What is uh, now, what about now? Do you see any abnormal finding based on this finding and Doppler or not? If it's yes, uh, for investigating of that finding, abnormal finding, what we can do extra study or view or window to evaluate more that uh, probability abnormality and what we have to do? except the T means of the trans thoracic, what we should do on, based on this finding. Here we have another case, as you can see, uh, this one on 2D, a little more wider, and this uh, color Doppler. How many abnormal color Doppler you can detect on this view? And beside of that, based on the all finding, 
what is the most uh, serious problem uh, we have to think about uh, this finding? Uh, what view is this? And what is positive Doppler shift belong to? Here, this one, belong to what? And when we use this view on the adult? Here we have a color Doppler and 2D on the plaques. Based on this color, uh, what is the most correct diagnosis on this case? Now let's go for explanation. 